guys. Thanks for tuning in. I just wanted to share a revelation um, slash personal testimony. I was scanning one of these documents in um, the Arminian Apocrypha about Joshua, the son of Nun. I'll have it up later. I won't have it up now yet. I have to go back home in order to put the PDF together. But um, I was just scanning it and I just glanced at one sentence and that one sentence gave me a whole revelation about the crucifixion of Christ. Now we know that there were three robbers, I mean um, two robbers on the side of Jesus when he was crucified. The one on his left mocked him and the one on his right um, accepted him and followed him into paradise. And that's a representation of our bad nature and our good nature and Jesus bringing that and Jesus' crucifixion bringing that together. Um, so there's a parallel apparently between this and Joshua in the battle of Jericho and the sun and the moon uh, going dark. Now we know that's also a shadow of a second coming prophecy of Christ and it's interesting because that day of battle um, when the wicked are cut down like grass as we read in Psalm 18 um, we could see in our Psalms things like it was as if it was a dream um, as if we awoke from sleep and then the dawn broke forth weird things we can't really perceive these things but I think I received this revelation um, from this one sentence I glanced upon in this random text about Joshua, the son of Nun. Now, in order to fully comprehend this, um, I will link below one of my testimonies. Um, I had a very strange testimony back in 2016 where I experienced a quantum shift. Um, I will recap the testimony. Okay, so for those who have ears to hear, let them hear. Um, it's a very, not an easy thing to receive. Um, basically, the testimony goes like this, and I'll just be blunt. Um, I was supposed to meet with a woman who was involved with my story, and all I know is that she never showed up. And the next morning, I wake up in Long Island in 2016, and I wake up and I feel like my body had sex, but I, I never had, that never happened. And I never even met the woman. And all of a sudden, um, when I'm out there, you know, surrounded by my gang stalkers and all that stuff that's going on in Long Island, everybody wants to kill me. The good people, the uh, supposed of good people wanted to arrest me. And all the gang stalkers are looking at me like, do you know what you just did? Like, what is wrong with you? And I, no, I have no idea what just happened. And basically, the story goes like this, is that I woke up and I found myself in a different reality. And so just like there were two robbers on the cross next to Jesus, um, I have personal um, discernment and belief that we live in a, a parallel reality. There is a good side of us and there is a bad side of us. And um, this is not unheard of. This is happening to people out there um, that people find themselves swapped in realities. Like they find themselves in different realities. All of a sudden they wake up and what they knew never happened and, and it was always like that. Kind of like a, um, a Mandela effect on steroids. Okay? And so basically what I believe happened to me is um, God took the good me and swapped me in the reality of the bad me. <laughs> if that makes any sense to anybody. And after this happened... Um, you know, quite a, coin, a couple months of adjusting and all that kind of stuff. Um, I was in my backyard in 2016 listening to music because, you know, back then I was still kind of in the world listening to a lot of worldly music back then. And I was listening uh, the Sonic Youth song Schizophrenia was on. And uh, for those of you who are fans of Sonic Youth, that is like probably one of their best songs. For the, um... But, and it's no coincidence, of course, if you're a targeted individual, one of the first things they do is try to mark you as schizophrenic. If the enemy persecutes you, they, they persecute you with 
ways that are not of this world and they say, oh, he's schizophrenic. They use V2K voices in your head and say, you're schizophrenic, blah, blah, blah. You're crazy, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to the doctor so you can get killed and all this stuff. And um, so it's no coincidence that during a certain part of the lyrics of this Sonic Youth song, Schizophrenia, um, the Holy Spirit fell on it. And it fell on it in a rebuke to the enemy. He was talking to the enemy. So I'm just going to leave you with that bit. And I'm going to leave you with the revelation um, that I found in this Arminian Apocrypha about Joshua the Son of God.